starting live video. We're live, pal. All right, let me just get in here and, uh, and share this. Yeah, do your thing. Welcome, folks. Yes, welcome. There we go. Yeah, I see the live video going right now. So let me just uh, find it and share it. It says it's been live for 10 minutes. I don't, that's not true. That's not true. Get some home braids. No, that's not one person watching. Maybe that's just you. Um, wait, wave hi if you're watching. Hi, guys. Wait, not you. Yeah. No, you're there. <laughs> Is this the one that I was just tagged in? Yeah, remember, the only other time that I produced, I didn't have the live chat aspect of this. So... Uh, I guess when that comes up, do I have to hit anything for that to come up? Or is that no, it'll pop up. up. Automatically. Okay. It will pop up. And um, I, I mean, I would tell you to try to, if you want, you can interact more with it on my phone. Yeah. Well, yeah. all right. So we'll go back to the old-fashioned <laughs> way. Welcome. Just say, yeah. This is uh, Weed of the Pack. What, uh, what episode are we on right now? This is episode eight. Episode eight. Oh, sure. As you notice, I am not Mike. I am Matt. Um, producer Matt, if you will. Uh, producer Mike is behind the camera today. I think I have a booger in my nose or something. Watch it, it's just from your hands. Uh, yeah, live shot from my hands. Uh, we, already, yeah, we already got somebody in the chat. Uh, with Bernskis. The legend, Steve Mazzano. All right. Uh, what up, Steve? Football cards, yes. Yes, football, football cards. cards today. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, me and Walter deal. Payton are going to have a sip. Uh, yeah. Uh, so today we are opening... Very special Tops 50th anniversary edition 2005 football card pack. Sweet. Mike, you want to get a little yeah, closer? Yeah, sure do. Very interesting cards here. There's a ton of stuff that uh, Mike will get into in a minute after he shows you that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, let me just grab that back real quick. I believe it's yeah, I 12 cards. Is he like from Ohio State or something? I think it's just a, it, that generic, like, they can't use it for branding purposes. <laughs> like, uh, 12, 12 cards, packs with a relic containing 10 cards. So if there's a relic in here, there's only going to be 10 cards. Okay. And if not, there's going to be 12 cards. Huh. Um, so huh. do you want to... That's extremely interesting. Well, because they're... They, you know, and I'm going to tell you right now, thicker cards. something something feels a little a little heavy in here. Ooh, so, treasure. Um, I might do what I did last time and open from open it up blind and then go from the bottom to the top. It's your it's your soup. All right, it's you want to uh, you want to tell us what we got on the docket that we're looking for today? I sure as hell do. Uh, again, tops two thousand five football card set. Uh, we got some uh, some rookies. I'm going to start with the rookies here. Interesting rookies in this class. Uh, Adam Pacman Jones actually. Uh, that's the, the, you know, he's the equivalent of getting, like, the Pete Rose, I guess, in this. Yeah, like the Deuce Bag of the Year Award. <laughs> yeah. uh, DeMarcus Ware has a rookie in this one. Uh, Derek Johnson, also a rookie. Uh, Roddy White, he's got a rookie in here. Uh, Mo Claret. Maurice Claret, the uh, the criminal. A, a rookie in here as well. And uh, actually... Frank Gore. Frank Gore is the one that I'm more excited he's, for. Because he's still in the league. Right. And he's a which is Which is amazing because I don't think any of those other guys are still in the league. Um, and then also, actually, there is one more rookie that's still in the league. And oh, he's no, one no, of no, my yeah, highlight I, I, cards. I got the, yeah, I got the rest of the guys that we're going to be looking for. So there's like a finest green refractor Tom Brady. Yes. That's so, said to be worth $750. It's this. So it's it's like this green reflective looking Tom Brady. I don't know exactly how many were made, but apparently it's super rare. Okay. Yeah. So if we pull that, I, I mean, just expect me to fully defecate and start <laughs> running around the building. All right. It's going to be mayhem. It's going to be mayhem. The other... Uh, Aaron Rodgers rookie card, uh, which is valued at about a thousand dollars. Yeah, That'd so be something else. I believe if I'm I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on this, but most of the stuff that I was leaning leaning into with my research was saying that this top set was one of the first Aaron Rodgers rookie cards to drop. So okay. like the the set was one of the first ones to release, so it was one of the first Aaron Rodgers cards that was available, which is why people were so highly sought after for for that card. Naturally, naturally. Uh, 50th anniversary signed John Elway. So this is one of those, like, remember how I was telling you, like, for every, uh, there's, like, one in 750 chance of pulling, like, this kind of crazy card. Yeah. And, yeah. So that, that's one of those type of deals. 
But it is valued at what, like three or four hundred bucks. I think you wrote down four hundred clams here, so yeah, that's a lot of cabbage. And then uh, I threw in the next one. We got a purple refractor Raiders, uh, Randy Moss, which is interesting because it's purple refracting, but he's on the Raiders. Bit of his roots, and then right, he was at at that time in his career. Yes. Well, man, this seems. To and be, then uh, uh, there was two other ones that I didn't put on there. There's a a Syracuse Hall of Fame Marvin Harrison rookie. Uh, Hall of Fame card, so it's like the Syracuse Hall of Fame, uh -huh. and it's Marvin Harrison. It's not a very expensive card, but Marvin Harrison is one of the best receivers of all time. Sure. And yeah. then there's also a, it's like a maroon reflective Michael Vick card from the Atlanta Falcons. Not on National Dog Day. Eesh. Too soon? Let's not get that on National Dog Day. Alright, I mean, I can't not be excited if that happens. Uh, okay, alright. Well, we got anybody in the chat today? Uh, we got a few. We've got a, Todd and Steve have been bantering right. back and forth a little bit. Sounds uh, good. We've got a handful of people here. Watch your hands and your delicate... Uh, <laughs> might your, not be able to open your delicate clown hands today. <laughs> I really might not be able to open it. Should I open it for you? Because, okay, now we're going to use our teeth. Yeah. This well, because they, they're not real. No, no. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. All right, so right off the, uh, on the, on the bottom of the pack, is one of the, uh, like... Oh, is that? Yeah. The, the nonsense cards. Okay. So I'm going to keep that here so I can't see anything. Okay, all right. So that's that's your board. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, yeah, this is one of those ones where it was like, uh, if you mail in your report card and you get good grades, they send you free cards. I love that. So kids, stay I in school and you get... Stay in school. And you get, uh, and you get good... You, you good get grades. good uh, football cards. Get good so grades the first, football first card we're going to get right here is Antaj Hawthorne's rookie card... I have no goddamn idea who this guy is. He's an offensive lineman. He played for the Oakland Raiders. But uh, there's, se I think, 70 or 80 rookie cards in this set. So that, that kind of sets the bar for somebody that I'm not going to know. We do have this little gold insignia up at the top. Is that to indicate a rookie? or? And I, I, yeah, couldn't, I, think this is, this I couldn't is tell you if he was a first-round draft pick or... Really, not, the back's really nice. Like these, it's, the, it's like these, these sets, these the sets are actually really, really nice. And I believe all the rookies had that white border, so that's another indication. <laughs> so Antaj Hawthorne. You go to college? Gee, I mean Iowa State. I don't know. Wisconsin. I wasn't far off. I have no, no. idea who that human is. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so let's don't move, apologize. Let's I'm move on to. from Mr. Hawthorne. All right. The next card. Future Hall of Famer, in my opinion, Mr. Roy Williams oh. of the Dallas Cowboys. One of one of my favorite safeties from this time frame. One of the hardest hitting safeties on the planet. Uh, I feel like you're going to have this insignia in the corner of all the cards. It's probably the 50th anniversary. Probably. Insignia. That actually, yeah. Let me. Uh, yes, that is the 50th anniversary insignia. Yes. Uh, Roy Williams went to Texas, which is a well known fact, and. Uh, I think Dallas at that time was not, I mean, there's still not very much of anything, but... Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I really dropped the ball on yeah, that? Yeah. I'm 0 for 2. You're right? just battling on the other side of the, of, of, the, of the coin on that one. You, if he went to Texas, then I'd certainly appreciate him more as a U of T fan, <laughs> but he's a trash bag because he's an Oklahoma Sooner. Not Next really. one up, another rookie card here. Okay. Antro Roll. Oh, yeah. Yes, Antro Roll, drafted by the Arizona Cardinals. Mm -hmm. um, real hype coming out of college. I don't really think he did too much. Um, I know he played He played with the Cardinals, played with the Giants for a little bit. He did. But not, not so much uh, what they were hoping to get out of, out of him. He was a good player uh, for, for a few years there. Yeah. Um, I'll agree with him. I don't know. Miami. Is he, trying to, is he trying to fly here? Yes, University of Miami. Yes, University of Miami. Is he trying to fly? Uh, I mean, he's part of the Cardinals, so maybe he is trying to fly. Oh, okay. That's, maybe that's his little workout. But uh, cousin of Samari Roll? Uh, yeah, some relation. Cousin. Yes. Or like changed his name like uh, K Rogers Cromartie did to uh, <laughs> to just, build on to the heights. <laughs> just a piggyback. Or, or to, to say like uh, Antonio Rogers is my my father. <laughs> like I'm the I'm the first of seventeen kids. That's legit. <laughs> Next card up. Okay. Another rookie. 
Crafonzo Thorpe. Oh, okay. okay. Now I'm gonna tell <laughs> you, he went to Florida State. Okay. And the only reason I know that is because of NCAA football, the video game. He was one of like he's like six foot eight. You can check his height on there. He's like six seven or six eight. But he wound up like just completely flopping out in the NFL. Yeah, I don't remember his name. Florida State. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have a height on him? He's a tall guy. Really, really tall guy. I think this says six one. <sighs> Maybe you could see it better. Again, like I bad eyes. Six seven. Six seven. That's a seven, not a one. Yeah. Okay. Uh fourth round drafted by the Chiefs. So yeah, he, he literally like got drafted. I don't even he may not have even made the the roster that year. Mm-hmm. Uh but great player in uh in NCAA football for, that for year. For what it's worth. Like yeah, if he was a lot of the that's that's what the story of Also have furthers come furthers out. the the peak of my uh my general knowledge of college football. Yeah, no, that's that's impressive. A, a savant like knowledge. Next player, uh very, very talented cornerback for this era, Chris McAllister. Played for the Ravens for, yeah. for a decent amount of time there. I think he was an all pro for a long time while he was with, with the uh with the Ravens. That's so Ravens. That's so Ravens. I have another guy I probably couldn't tell you. If I had to guess I'd say like Ohio State. Which is wrong. Arizona. Yeah. So, Arizona. well, uh, I don't. I don't really have much about McAllister. I, a lot of times, I wind up uh, reverting back to like video games. I remember he was a good two-way player in NFL Street because if you like took a defensive back, he had to play wide receiver. Oh. So, oh. Chris okay. McAllister, we'll we'll That's info a little, for you guys over video there. Video game tidbit for uh, for both of you watching. Next card up, another rookie card. We're red hot on rookies. Let's, red hot on rookies. Let's this one be a good guy. Thomas Davis, okay. one of uh, one of the, I'd say probably a top ten, top ten, top fifteen pick in this in this uh, two thousand five draft, out of Georgia. Um, I believe played his whole career with the Carolina Panthers. I don't believe he's in the league anymore. Interesting. Well, I, with a lot of guys that probably came up, this would be what they're. Fifteenth year in the league, so yeah. So sure I mean, that, yeah, or, that's like you're, you're asking a, a lot of protected skill position guy. Yeah, but Thomas Thomas Davis and prob- probably one of the longer careers out of uh, anybody in this 2005 draft class. The 2005 draft class is a crazy one because a lot of the guys that were taken early in earlier rounds wound up be um, really being nothing aside from you know maybe guys like Alex Smith, Aaron Rodgers. Sure. Uh, even even some of the guys, some of the receivers that were taken in this draft class weren't much. And the first running back, I believe, wasn't taken until the second round, Frank Gore. Was that Frank Gore? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's interesting to go back and look at those draft classes and see how many of those first round what, guys yeah, like yeah. like just fizzled out quick. Yeah. Next up. Okay. Is it another rookie? <laughs> Is it Frank Gore? Oh, you seem. We have ourselves Get out of here. a thousand dollar fucking here. football card here. I don't want to touch it. Get the, it. We need I'll plastic immediately. This is the card. I'm not shitty. Oh my god. This is a thousand dollar football card. <laughs> oh my god. Put that in there. Oh my god. We it just pulled a, baggy, a, a thousand dollar. Take Carl Fisk out of his card. I don't give a shit about okay, that. Right. I cursed again. This is a this is this is a very very expensive football card here, folks, and probably the best card that that we've pulled. Uh, yeah, not not only the in show. the not only in the football packs, but in the history of the show. Yeah, we have to. Um, we have to send this out. That's yeah. This we're, is we're this is an this Aaron Rodgers rookie card from two thousand five. Uh, I like my hands are shaking. I mean, now, now that it's plastic. Yeah, we can uh, we can let the, the 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 crowd take a look at it. I this is amazing. This is it. This is the Aaron Rodgers rookie card. Oh wow! Look how kind of baggy those shorts are. Let's go. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, the the, the cow the cow the cow local. Uh, 
I, I mean, I'm I'm kind of speechless. He's the leader of the pack. That that's and and to to hit one guy off of that list, we're usually pretty excited. But I'm even more excited that it's something that has some kind of value to that's, it. That's that's incredible value. And let's try. I'm gonna try not to dwell as much, but we'll definitely go back to that. Uh, let's go to the next player here. Chris Brown, running back, not singer, not for the Tennessee Titans. Third back singer. Um, Chris Brown, I think, wound up getting superseded by uh, Wendell White, and there, there was another guy that they had there too. I can't remember. Tolbert. No, Tolbert was a Wendell San White Diego was guy. Fat. Remember Wendell, Wendell, Wendell White? White I mean, fat. but I mean, he could run some people over. Chris sure. Chris Brown was part of that backfield at one point. I can't. If anybody could remember, then the other, uh, Chris Johnson. Yes, yes, Chris, Chris Johnson. <laughs> how do you forget? Chris. How do you forget the guy with the second fastest forty all, time? You're blown away by this. I mean, it's it's unreal. By that car. That's. I'm gonna try to dial back that's, in. That stops this. That stops this right in its pack. Yeah. And by the way, George, no, we're not accepting bids on this. <laughs> no blind bids. We're this, not going I mean, back this to the this card might potentially buy us equipment and yeah. And and packs for the rest of our lives. Yeah, that yeah. that's amazing. I mean, let's let's move on from Chris Brown because our man's not on the floor. And if he ain't, then don't let me know. Right. We're we're gonna run it, run it. Yeah. We're gonna run it, run it. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, real quick, Chris Brown. Uh, one of the one of the uh, dishwashers at, at work uh, came in wearing a Chris Brown tour shirt the other day. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. You can't. I don't even know if he knows what it is, but it was pretty funny. Uh, so we, it's, did, we did, Justin. We did stop holding the card. By the way. Yes, we did. Let's let's go to a tops 50th anniversary league leader Ooh. in receiving. Ooh. He led the league with 1,382 receiving yards. I want to see if anybody might be able to guess this. Okay. He led the league in. 2004 in receiving yards, or no, I'm sorry. He was number three in the league in receiving yards in 2004, okay. with uh, with 1,382. I, if you could guess any of the top three, uh, anybody, Mike, if you want to chime in with a guess, I go um, Tory Holt. No, Tory Holt and Isaac Bruce were actually four and five on this list. Mm. So right above them is this player. Uh, I believe had it. Didn't stand around, stay around much longer after after the 2005 season. Interesting. Joe Horn. Joe, Joe Horn, Horn is number two. Number two. El Dosley. Uh Number one. It's it's considering I believe that they won the Super Bowl in 2004. Musin Muhammad from the Carolina Panthers. Okay. Didn't they uh, win the Super Bowl either that 2004 yeah. or the year before yeah. that? Yeah, that would have been. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, to round that out in seventh, Terrell Owens, Deshaun, or uh, Daryl Jackson with the Seahawks. Matt, there was really? the Matt, yeah. Matt Hasselback, Daryl, yeah. Daryl Jackson connection. Michael Clayton from the Buccaneers and Nate, our buddy Nate Burleson. Nate Burleson, big time. Uh, yeah. So very well rounded there. There's the card if you guys want to take a look at it. Javon Walker. Javon Walker. He's great. A what a team, great player. A teammate of uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, by the way, uh, Dr. Liz is here. Dr. Liz. We got an Aaron Rodgers rookie out of this pack. Go back and watch the beginning. We were all... Well, I'm, I'm all well, hopped up on Bang like right a few now. Minutes, a few minutes ago, but yeah. I, I made sure to keep the logo out of the shot here so uh, they don't get sued. This is the, I mean, again, the back That's, of that These card are really, really, really nice looking cards. Really right? nice looking cards. I, we might have to get a couple more of these packs. Javon Walker was probably on one of my fantasy football teams. Javon Walker. It was uh, Donald Driver was part of that receiving core. Yep. yep. Who was the tight end? Beefy, uh, beefy white guy tight end. What? It wasn't Sterling Sharp. No, I think Sterling Sharp was been out, out of the league. league. Yeah. Beefy. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm it's thinking gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna hit me in my head. I'm gonna be mad I'm about. I'm thinking it. about beefy, beefy white guy wide receiver uh, tight ends. Next up on the list. Not true. Sure. One of my favorite guys. He's a, like a, a guy that I looked up to and tried to like uh, replicate when I was playing football in high school. Brandon Stokely. Oh, all right. Very, uh, very small, very slender uh, slot receiver. A slender man. He's white. He certainly <laughs> is. Uh, Brandon Stokely, I feel, is... You're wondering what college. Uh, I want to say Iowa. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's in yellow lettering and I cannot see it. So you, you answer your own questions with that one. No, you went to UL Lafayette, which I wouldn't have gotten a million what a, years. What a football but Brandon school! St UL Brandon Lafayette Stokely, was. Uh, Brandon Stokely, part of that that crazy offense with Peyton Manning, yeah. Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, Dallas Clark. Yeah. So uh, shout outs to uh, Brandon Stokely. Brandon Stokely, but I think Brandon Stokely did go elsewhere. And Here we go. Him. Speaking of league leaders, Bronco, yes. we have another. That's right. He went to the Broncos. League leader in receiving yards. This time... Is it Joe Horn? It is Joe Horn. Yeah, Joe Horn! <laughs> awesome! Joe Horn, uh, infamous for the cell phone, but also infamous for... We've talked about it in the, in the last football episode we did, for his uh, charitable donations and, and, and commitment to the Louisiana and New Orleans communities. Absolutely. What, Absolutely. what a guy. Joe Horn was, was very much... Uh, Hurricane Katrina hit in 2000... Was that... Five or two thousand six, and Joe Horn was a, all all over it. A all big time it. Uh, contributor. And at that at this point, uh, even even as old as he was getting, he was still performing at such a high level. Yeah. yeah. So hats off to Joe Horn. Good for you, Joe Horn. What a, I mean that he was definitely on one of my fantasy teams. Uh huh. And yep. this is like probably right around when I started getting into fantasy football. Yeah. yeah. I'm Next good here up, for fantasy football. Oh boy. Is it another Aaron Rodgers card? No, but it's another league leader in receiving. It's not one of the league leader in receiving cards, but one of my favorite players. Oh, this is going to be Isaac Bruce. <laughs> it is 100% Isaac oh, Bruce. This is awesome. This is such a great pack, This is man. such a great pack. We're having a lot of fun with this guy. This is pack. Isaac Bruce, I mean, sure. I, I told this story on the last episode. I had his jersey, and I, and I wore it to school one day. Somebody stole it. Nice. I was so upset. Keep but uh, very crisp route runner. Um, inevitably, I think he inevitably point. is going to be a Hall of Famer. Him and Torrey Holt will both be Hall I of think, Famers. I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, along with uh, not Marshall Falk, who I'm not wearing, but uh, this is a Cooper Cup Cooper jersey. Cup. Yeah. Oh, so. so. Interesting. Now, I, the, the emblem itself, like the little little gold gimmick on the top, it does switch sides. For certain cards. So, so uh, that's this is just a uh, throwaway. It's a free online ID to play fantasy football Woo! for a chance to win Woo! a trip to Hawaii. Let's go to Hawaii, everybody. Who um, wants to go? This is the Be the Ultimate NFL Fan. I don't What's know what this shit is. these floppy inserts? And then, no, last nonsense. but not least, students wear cards and get cards. Yes. Let's... Students work hard and get cards. Students work hard and get cards. They do. Uh, it's it's so hard. It like do your online school. If we didn't if we if we didn't pull that that Aaron Rodgers card, Isaac Bruce and Joe Horn are co-leaders of the pack for me. Right. But th I mean, this thing is just a gem. Look at like. I'm smash the sides. I'm I'm holding it I'm very hold, very. Hold it by the the very top. I'm gonna hold it right that away in from front me. of your face, <laughs> and I'm going right to the. I I mean I'm beyond ecstatic about this and. We're gonna have you host more shows because you pull better. I, 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 pull, I mean, I pulled I that. Uh, Tracy, I pulled that. I didn't that see Jay a Tracy Cutler rookie Jones card. in here. We didn't see anything. I mean, we got Crafonzo Thorpe. Okay. Right. Which, which, once again, I have one of my random pulls. Also, Crafonzo Thorpe played on the same team as Willie Reed, uh, who was the last guy that I plucked out. That's of. right. Yeah. Uh, a lot of interconnections here. Uh, so, I mean, that's basically the show right there. These cards were amazing. They are. Yeah. The, uh, we're gonna we're gonna buy a ton more of those, um, and it's worth about a thousand clams if it's if in it's perfect in perfect condition. condition. We gotta get it. We we're gonna get we're it. gonna send this one away to get yeah. appraised. Yeah. Um, we're not. Gonna, I, I wish I knew how many were made. We're not gonna talk we're, about. We're it definitely anymore. gonna do more uh, more research into that as soon as we're done with for this. For sure. Uh, thank you guys for uh, dealing with me. I know it's complete opposite of uh, what oh, Mike you were, usually you were great. does. You're an excited little boy. And thanks for dealing card. with my my disability. Uh, You're fine. Somebody You're... put me in charge of knives and fire. You're making... <laughs> so that's what happens. It was your mood of fingers today. Yes, my uh, my Koji death grip. Or yeah. uh, what's uh who was uh? uh it, well, you got Asiatic spike. The, it, yes, that was um. I might have some Morocco. Asiatic Bang. spike. <laughs> Ming? Oh yeah, Tongan Death Row. Yes, that's right. That's yeah. the Tongan Death. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, 
Uh, I think maybe one of the next ones that I'm going to be uh, a host for is going to be this pack. We're, yeah, we're coming up to that NBA pack. We're, we're just going to rip. What, what year is this? That's 1990. 1990. I may be able to talk about this. So uh, we, we actually we do have one more week. of these. That will come up later in the year. Yes. So um, sure. thanks again for tuning in. Uh, tomorrow I am bartending again. Oh, yeah, uh, in plus. some capacity, whatever I can do. Love your bartending gigs. Yes, yeah, so make sure you stop by uh, Nick's Tavern on 36. Our, my, my good buddies, Not Leaving Sober, are performing tomorrow. So if you guys like live music, stop by. Yeah. They also have a single. I'm going to give them a quick, cheap plug. Ooh, they have a single uh, that's going to be debuting on Spotify. Um, I think in the beginning of September, if you go look up Not Leaving Sober on Spotify, you should be able to um, have it set so that as soon as the song is released, it downloads right into your library. So, big shout outs to Nico and Jimmy. I love you guys. Uh, love all you guys. Make sure you guys stop by, uh, you know, make you a nice cocktail. And uh, thank you to Aaron Rodgers for uh, for making this show. This this one was way worth it. I'm, I'm just enthralled right now. This is amazing. So, uh, on behalf of myself, producer Mike, who will be on the other side of the camera next week, on behalf of Walter Payton, Tiny and of Walter. course, the great Muda. Muda. Stay classy, San Diego. And go...